Hello guys, as I promised, I am back with a new version of Camors, Camors 17. This is a new new version, new functionalities, great functionalities, a lot of enhancements from the old version. I do not have uh, right now the time to show you all the options. Uh, I can tell you Camors Solid 17, it's uh, released. You can use all the functionalities of the new SOLIDWORKS uh, 17 version. We also have this uh, SOLIDS version, so you can enjoy all the features from, from SOLIDWORKS. And uh, trust me, this new version of SOLIDWORKS has a uh, uh, lot of enhancements. Maybe uh, later next week I will show you some of these uh, new functionalities. In my opinion, of course, which I will use uh, daily from now on. I'm very interested in uh, new 3D interconnect functionality in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, practically, you can use any file in any CAD system. Uh, you can use it inside SOLIDWORKS. It will detect uh, any uh, if you if you did some modifications or something like this. But today it's all about Camors 17 version. As you can see, uh, this is the new new functionalities. First of all, uh, the new icons uh, are practically the same, just like in SolidWorks. You can now have the ability to use this new new design of icons. Uh, in my opinion, uh, a lot of more intuitive, uh, just like a, a manufacturing program. If you are looking at the order of these icons, uh, you have now the ability to use the old one, the old style of icons, and these new, new uh, icons. What can I say? Another functionality which I am thrilled about is uh, the Camors Tolerance Base Machining. It's now available as an add-in. You can use it. I will, I will advise you to use Camors the new Camos Tolerance based machine and uh, let's start with the 17 version so the new icons uh, another anticipated uh, option it's uh, setup sheets saved uh, as a XLLT file you can use it under Microsoft Excel uh, and right now, as you can see, I will show you another another new function. A lot of a lot of people are asking about what does full full mean and what does light mean. So right now, uh, in 17 version, you have a full description what does full rebuild means and what light rebuild means. It is a small enhancement, but a very useful. Because for a new user, this is very important. Uh, so right now, I will show you the, the new functionality for the setup sheet. For this part, I will generate a setup sheet. So right now, I have this new uh, version of setup sheet, XSLT. I will generate one of these. And I will open it in, inside, uh, inside Microsoft Microsoft Excel, the same XML file, open a Microsoft Excel. So right now the customization of uh, setup sheets are much easier. You have you have the ability to modify it just like you want it. Uh, one, this is one of the best enhancements in this new version in my opinion I will use it and of course you can use it uh, also another another um, enhancement it's about post processor tab which is now um, integrated just like a property tab manager in SOLIDWORKS so if I want to post process this Milpar setup, choose the name of the folder, and you can see in the light in the left 
the post processor new tab let's say with the same functionalities but the posting details are here uh, the options are also here and uh, it's much easier for uh, for uh, for a new user to use this new post process let's say new post processor tag another cool uh, enhancement it's about uh, it's about uh, the tool crib because right now when you when you use a, when you add a new tool to the to the tool crib let's use let's say this one and save the tool crib you have this new window it uh, you have uh, the options to add a new tool to update one tool uh, to only add new tools to database and in 16 version this is a lot uh, you can do you can also do this but uh, right now uh, uh, this is another good enhancement from the from geometric so use it wisely and um, you will you will see the this is the best uh, functionality another let's say small enhancements are if you are using if you are um, try to manufacture a part for uh, one time two times three times the numbers between mill part setup and the regular and the features are adding adding uh, sequentially so you will have mill part setup 17 or 18 and uh, irregular slot to five four six right now it just starts from the beginning one two three and it's a lot easier to just look at uh, camera's um, feature tree this mainly uh, the 17 version it's all about setup sheets if you ask me it's all about new functionalities from turning much as uh, much anticipated and of course, at, not at least the volume. You know the best, probably the best uh, toolpath, uh, roughing toolpath in the market. It's volume, and right now uh, I advise you uh, until 17 version, if you are using volume, to using the the application from Celerative, the milling advisor. So right now, Geometric implemented the milling advisor inside cameras. It uh, it became when you choose the volume of course you have to buy a volume license when you choose volume for roughing in feeds and speeds you will have now the new functionality which is called volume technology expert the best function in my opinion it's the material it's coming from the stock material all the date all the information about the tool comes from the from cameras of course all the other functions are just like in in um, milling advisor and now besides uh, a difference between uh, milling advisor and volume mill it's this recommendation conservative selective and aggressive so uh, use it because volume mill technology ex technology expert it's a very useful and powerful tool another um, good enhancement uh, available in the new version uh, it's the, if you have a simple part like this uh, you have this corner slot or slot whatever if you want to define in technology database a condition for this you only have um, two options it width and the length of this uh, of this pocket right now in technology database you will have another function which is called the largest inscribed circle so you will not have let's say an issue when generating uh, uh, roughing with a bigger or a tool with a bigger diameter right now you will have this new condition in technology database which is called largest inscribed circle it's a very very good very powerful uh, function for um, let's say 2.5 axis uh, um, features also another issue uh, with cameras uh, with a lot of users are about the 
let's say CNC compensation, somebody get might get mixed up about the CNC compensation. So right now, um, the CNC parameters are uh, all in one. Let's say all in one because all these functions are you are seeing here. Much of that. Um, all these functions are available also in all the versions, but right now all the CNC compensation param finish parameters are, are in one place and you can use it. I'm talking about go check and add tool radius to lead in and lead out. Uh, for example, add the tool radius, it's available in all the versions in machine setup. So uh, it is a great, uh, great function for the for this new version. For uh, simple parts like this one, two pockets, one operation combined. Let's say I need for this these pockets to have different leading. In the new version, you have the ability to edit, modify, do anything you want with a lead-in for every feature. So, what what is this new function? So, lead-in features. So, I have rectangular pocket with an arc, with an arc um, lead-in. Let's say I need a perpendicular one, and the second one. Let's say I need an arc, but with uh, with a smaller, uh, let's say zero zero two. Look how it is now, the perpendicular one and the other one. Apply the leading to all. It gives you the ability to modify leading and lead out for different different types of. Um, of 2.5 axis features. I will not uh, show you today, maybe in another uh, in another video about the uh, 5 axis uh, options. But trust me, in the 17 version, you have the you have new options for for um, for multi axis strategy. You have the um, let's define something quicker. A multi-surface feature or five axis strategy generate something generate I will not check the actual tool part just want to have access to multi-axis mill operation so right now I have uh, in posting tab all these parameters comes from in all the version from the post processor and uh, much more um, options in axis control uh, and uh, much more uh, if you have uh, if you choose some kind of patterns you will now use the exact step over for five axes so a lot of uh, new options also in the five axes as I told you earlier um, New version, it's all about setup sheet, of course, all in, uh, in my opinion, setup sheet, volumeal, and turning. This new version have many enhancements in turning. I will show you only a f only, only um, in the more important ones. So, right now, in all the versions, you will have the ability to define the check using the standard configuration of chucks comes the standard configuration comes when you install when you first install the software so right now you will have the ability to define a check using a solidworks model 3d model an stl file don't worry about the coordinate system you you modify you uh, do the 3D model of the chuck because you, you have the ability to edit. Let's, I, have, I think I have some STL file. You have the ability to translate, rotate, and everything. This is a uh, 
a custom chuck you you can use it in all the versions so first I remind you custom chucks and the bigger and much more important uh, important uh, options is now in turning you have the ability to have a chuck and fixture avoidance let's say an avoid you want to avoid the chuck in the older version you can't in this new version you have the ability to i just disable the chuck chuck and fixture avoidance right now it goes until the end of the od feature enable again and just press some value here it just stops three millimeters until it uh, it reaches the the chuck another cool feature in uh, turning in uh, 17 is the new feeds and speeds uh, mainly i have uh, some questions about these feeds and speeds which in the older versions are inside other tabs right now good enhancement a new tab just like in milling feeds and speeds uh, for turning of course you can put the values you think you you need it from your experience but let me show you another cool features override feed rate so you have different feed rates for entry for exit for first for final and for arc feed rate because in turning you you will want when you you will want different feed rates so this is another cool cool enhancement enhancement in turning before i end this video i will uh, i will tell you something about uh, every new version in cameras comes with different free available api api are um, automatic ap applications inside i don't know solidors in cameras so these new versions also come with different APIs. You can, uh, you can, if you install this new version, you will find a, a list of new APIs available. So use it because it is, um, you, it will help you. Trust me. So don't waste any time. Try this new version of cameras. It is, it is very good. Many, uh, many enhancements and until uh, until the next video see you bye bye and if you have any question leave a message on this on my linkedin profile bye